up people it's your boy Hellfire back with another video uh, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a beat with the MPC using Reason as a sound module while it's rewired in the Pro Tools and then how to track the project out so you can mix it in Pro Tools, add your effects or whatever um, I did the beat already so I'm going to use this old beat as the uh, example and I'm going to try to make it look like I'm making a new beat for y'all to follow along with so um, we're going to be using the XL today so we're going to start off by making a new audio track in Pro Tools. Alright, then you're going to hit Create. I already got a track made, so I'm going to unhide it. Hit Show. Um, this track is going to be so you can hear your MPC sounds at the same time as hearing the sounds from Reason all in Pro Tools. So, we're going to arm this for record and now you should be able to hear your MPC sounds in Pro Tools any drum sounds you got alright so so now we want to go ahead and uh, create a new instrument track a new stereo instrument track alright I already got mine created so I'm gonna go ahead and unhide that Act like I just made it when I didn't. So, and right, now we got our new, our new uh, instrument track. So we want to go into the MPC and make a new MIDI track and set it to MIDI channel one. So you're gonna go back up into Pro Tools and insert Reason on there. All right. So when you do that. The rewire box should pop up and you're going to select your input for your first one you just want to use mix left and right which is pretty much the same as channel one and two so you're going to leave it on that and when you do that uh, reason should automatically pop up but I already got it open so I'm going to show you now when I do beats and reason I like my racks to come up empty so if you got anything in yours just erase everything and just leave it looking like this just nice and blank. Alright, so like I said, I already made my beat. So um yours is gonna look like this. I'm just gonna go over into the one I already made, exit this out. And right now you should have nothing here, so ignore this on mine for now. So you wanna go up here and this up here is your rewire module. It this uh outputs the audio from reason into your door. So in this case, it's gonna output all your modules audio into Pro Tools. So remember how when we op when we opened up Reason on the instrument track, it popped up with the rewire box, and it lets you pick your input. Remember we put this to one, uh, left and right, which is one and two up here. So this one and two corresponds to this mix left and right. Same thing. All right. So. We want to go here and we want to um, show MIDI, show an advanced MIDI device and that's going to pop up with all your MIDI channels, your 16 MIDI channels. So, so you're going to go on your MPC and you're going to make a new MIDI track and you're going to set the output to MIDI channel 1. And you're going to come back up and Reason and you're going to start off by creating a new module. So you're going to go to Create. Pick whatever one you want. In this case, I picked the NNXT. So now you got your new module up. You want to set the MIDI channel of the module, the uh, MIDI channel one, to the first module. So you just go into channel one, select the N, and that's it. Now you want to tab over to the back of the rack. And here you have all your inputs for the for the rewire module. These are all the inputs from your module that come here and go out to Pro Tools. So we want to take our first module and just drag the, the, the cables up to one and two. Left goes the one, right goes the two. 
Simple. So the first one always does the right for you automatically, but the rest of them you just gotta do them yourself. You gotta do both of them yourself. All right, so tab back over to the front. Now we're gonna pick a sound. Go in here. Just go to wherever you want, pick a sound. I'm, I'm messing with the Abbey Rhodes keyboard on this one, so I went with the Child and Vintage Room. And now in your MPC, you should be able to play the pads or play your keyboard and hear the sounds on your instrument track. <laughs> So now you could go ahead and you could record your first melody. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, you see that? Got our first melody down. We want to go ahead. We're going to go back into Pro Tools and we're going to make a new instrument track for our second sound so then you're just gonna go and insert reason again just like you did with the first track go ahead and insert reason and it's gonna pop up with the rewire box again and it's gonna be set to one and two again but you don't want that because now when you play your second sound it's gonna be playing off both instrument channels Alright, so you want to get this its own input. So you're going to go to the next available one, which is 3 and 4. So now when your old sound plays, it's just going to play on its own track. Alright, so you're going to go back up in the reason. And you're going to go ahead and make a new module. So you're going to go here, set MIDI channel 2 to your next module go ahead and select the end go back tab to the back of the rack and you're gonna set the main outputs of the module to three and four this time boom and boom alright so you're gonna go back into your MPC make another uh, MIDI track Set it to MIDI channel 2. And now you should be able to hear your second sound in uh, your new instrument track. Right. And you can go back to, to your, first your first track and you'll notice your old sound is still playing on, on your first instrument track. Second one. All right. So you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna make make up a new melody for your second uh, for your second track. And this is mine. I went up. All right. Two down. <laughs> 